Hi, this is Tamara Rubin again, the executive director of the Lead Safe America Foundation, and I just did a little video about leaded crystal in a goblet, a glass, and we happen to be sitting at this table with all these tchotchkes on it at my mother's house, and we just thought, oh, well, let's try some of these other things to see if they test positive, um, and my... Um, allegation is that if you have like a crystal object that's not a glass it can exude lead into the space that it's in and I know this um, because I've had some people say oh I tested my grandmother's crystal necklace and it turned pink right away and I tell people that most crystal won't turn pink right away with the swab because the swabs are really designed for paint and it's not a painted surface however you know if it's an older crystal and it's been sitting around and hasn't been washed it might turn pink so like a goblet like this is washed frequently and used frequently and so won't turn pink, um, won't turn the swab pink. So I'm gonna just do this um, little, th these are common uh, leaded crystal that pretty much everyone has in their home if they like rainbows, right? Mm -hmm. um, or if they were born in the 70s or 60s. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll test this one because it's been sitting around, obviously. It's probably leaded crystal, it's very heavy. Uh, another way to tell that it's lead. And mo again, the most of those are 30% lead. So this is a lead check swab. There's the liquid and the powder. I don't know if you can hear my mother's cooking, making noise, shaking it. Then we've got um, the orange in there. And then I'm gonna start rubbing this on a side that hasn't seen a lot of action, put a little drop. And so when I was doing this earlier, I said, I said to Barbara, who was filming, my friend and board member of Let's Safe America, I said, oh, look, can you see it's turning a little pink, but you can barely see it. And she said, oh, yeah, I can see that. I see what you're talking about. And then we just kept rubbing and rubbing. It took, takes a little time. Um, and it started turning more and more pink um, as we rubbed. And I'm, I don't think we rubbed, and I will be washing my hands after this if anybody has that question. Um, and I was actually kind of a little bit surprised. So if you can see, it's turning pink. You can get a close up, I'll try and keep that still. Can you see the color okay? Yeah? Yep. Um, and I think the more we rub it, I'm just gonna do this, bear with me. Um, the more we rub this, um, the more pink it'll turn. And the interesting thing about the lead that's in leaded crystal or leaded metal jewelry oftentimes there's something different about the composition of that lead and I'm not a scientist I'm just a mom so but but oftentimes the swab will turn pink or more pink later if you let it sit for a little while um, than it does at the initial read and then this is the swab um, that we did earlier that also turned pink on the same item and I think yeah. you can tell from both that there there's pink and this is definitely lead and if you hold this up it's like it's it's glowing pink right now you can't really see it but I can see it from here that the whole thing is kind of pink all over um, mm -hmm. from the from being covered with the solution. So is this safe to have in your home? I don't think so, not personally in my opinion, uh, because it's obviously creating lead dust that if a child touches it and children like to touch these things, um, you're gonna have an issue. Uh, they're going to be exposed. If you keep it out of reach in a window, if you wipe it down frequently with like Clorox wipes or something, maybe, but um, I, don't, I just don't think it's worth the risk for uh, the pleasure of rainbows. I'd rather go out and see a real rainbow. Thank you for watching, and if you want to support our work, you can go to leadsafeamerica.org, L-E-A-D-S-A-F-E, america.org, and we have a donate button there. We also have lots of information about other subjects, including leaded crystal and lead pottery and um, what to do if you think your child's been poisoned and that sort of thing. Thank you. That was long, but...